Hi, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. This is the Bear Osable. Now, when I think of bear archery, I think about their recurves. I really don't think about bears, bear archery's longbows. And if I do, I think about the Bear Montana. The Bear Montanas are quite a standard longbow, standard grip. Their Os Sable is more of a reflex deflex, so you can see the limbs curve back around. Now, this bow reminds me a lot of the Martin Savannah through its shape and styling. It looks very, very similar. And I haven't shot this, this bow yet, so I don't know what it's going to shoot like. Um, this is more expensive than the Bear Montana, and it looks a much nicer bow than, than the Montana. I think it's a 64-inch bow. Yes, it is. It says it there, 64, and this is a 50-pound bow. So I'm going to start off with the grip. The grip's slightly set inwards. Um, the Bear Montana is a straight up and down grip. Now, when I think about longbows, most longbows made today come from China. There's very few American-made longbows left. Um, this is one of them. The grip feels squarer than the Savannah. The Savannah, to me, um, from memory, had a leather grip around here, which felt quite nice, and it was a bit more curved here. This feels quite square around this part here in the hand grip. Um, it doesn't come with felt. I added the felt here to, for the um, shoot. The look of the bow, it looks quite nice. The finish is high, which is what you expect for bear. Price point on this bow is about 800 Australian dollars, which puts it significantly cheaper than the Savannah and other light bows, but more expensive than the Montana, but I think it's a far, far better bow, having not shot it yet. Um, so let's have a draw and see what it draws like. This is a vintage Black Eagle arrow. Um, 500 spine, so it should be pretty close. It's full length. Um, this bow comes with a Flemish twist string. So here, it feels very, very smooth all the way through. It's a very nice draw. I'm going to say the grip does not feel as good as the Savannah. I feel more pressure here, but I'm going to say it feels better than the Montana. So I like it a little bit more curved on the grip. But, and I'm going to say the other longbow I, I prefer, um, saying I have not shot this bow yet, but one of the ones I prefer is the Predator Lobo. If you get a chance to get one of those, Predator's no longer in business, but that bow is absolutely beautiful. Also more expensive than this bow. That was 179 feet per second, but so quiet. This is a timber shaft, um, which is gonna to be too, this one's gonna to be too soft for this bow. 164. Now I'm getting quite a whack just there on my wrist because of the low brace height. You can see it's just coming through. Um, I don't know. Like the brace height looks extremely short for this bow. Um, but still incredibly quiet. Like, I'd probably like the brace height a bit longer. So this is Flemish twist, so you could just twist it up. Um, but very, very quiet. It's very smooth draw. Hundred and seventy-five. Um, so my summary of the bear or sable. Um, I'm going to say I prefer the predator and I prefer the mountain savanna. However, I think the difference is minor. Um, I think the savanna and the predator was a little bit more rounded here and it felt a little bit more comfortable. However, the draw cycle on this is amazing. It's really good. It's very silent in the shot. And it's cheaper than both the other bows. It's cheaper than the Savannah and cheaper than the Predator was because the Predator is no longer made. But when it was made, it was near $1,000, $1,200. So I think the finish looks good. Um, I think it's a step up from the Montana. 
Um, now with with bear, there is issues as far as supply. And when I say that, like there's going to be shops who have them, and that's good because you can get your hands on them if the shop's got it. Um, for me, I order them, I wait for them to come, and then they're in stock. Um, if that makes any sense. The time it takes, generally Bear will not have these bows in stock. They are generally supplied to make. So you order them, they will then make them for you and you've got to wait until your name comes up. So for example, when I ordered my Bear Shipment, I ordered a whole bunch of bows, like hundreds and hundreds of bows. Some of the traditional bows will come in, but then some won't. So some will miss the shipment when it's made. So then they'll be on hold for the next shipment or they may not even be on hold for the next shipment. They may miss the next shipment because I haven't placed then another order. So then they'll go be handed to someone else. So the bow I ordered might not even, I may not even get it if that makes any sense at all. Um, I'm going to say the shipping time has been getting better with Bear. Uh, my last shipment took, um, well I get my Bear in by shipping container. But I'm going to say from the time I ordered, I was probably looking at three to four months and then it comes in by a container, which is another two months. So probably about six months. Um, that does not mean the, like if I ordered one of these bows specifically for a person, let's say a left hand 40, it doesn't mean that it will arrive in, four, in six months. Um, it just, means it's likely to probably be there in six months um, but I just I mean your best bets to try if you're after a 40 pound left-handed or sable you just basically shop around and see who's got one would be my suggestion um, unless you want to buy from your local shop um, and then you've just got to wait for it um, but that's the bear or sable I think it's a beautiful bow um, bear make like amazing traditional bows um, they've got a kind of a reputation because they've been in the industry for so long and people will collect them so you know if you've got a bear that is like 10 years old or 12 years old um, it's not to say it's going to be worth more money than you paid for it but it's going to be something that has probably not changed and is still desirable today um, I think this is a very desirable longbow um, I would definitely shoot one um, I rather like this longbow. Of all the longbows in production today, I'm really liking this bow. I think it's nicely finished, so silent, very limited, like less vibration. I, I think it's got less vibration than the Predator and the than the Savannah, I think. And I haven't shot the Savannah for a while. And the Savannah was one of my favorite longbows. So. But I, this is, and for $800, like, I'll be ordering more of these, that's absolutely certain, because this is very nice. I'm going to say that most traditional people will buy a recurve, um, especially when it comes to bear. $179. Um, yeah, the vibration's excellent. It's it's very it's very nice bow to shoot. Um, so if I want to, 64 inches is allowed for Australian archery for bare bow. There's no part of the string touching the limb, so it's allowed for the other form of archery. Um, so there's two forms of archery in Australia. There's the target and the bow hunting. So as I understand, it's allowed for bow hunting because the string is not touching. And it's allowed for target archery because it's over 64 or 64 inches and over. So quite a nice bow. Um, and I think the price point's good. I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. That's the Bear or Sable. Thanks for watching. Bye.